So a couple nights ago, I got to witness M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense, released in 1999 by Hollywood Pictures. Now this movie, I saw this back in 2017 when it was on Netflix, and watching it again in 2021 as a more experienced person, I didn't remember a whole lot about it. But just watching it as like how I am right now, and like I said, like more experienced with film, I was able to understand a lot of things that I wasn't able to understand back in 2017. One of the big things that I really caught on was that whenever a set is red or someone is wearing a clothing of red, it means danger and all. That is just so clever. I, like, like, if you happen to watch The Sixth Sense or if you've already seen it, I want you to watch a, um, a video on YouTube from the VHS, it was a feature in it on the VHS called Rules and Clues. We go into a great detail on, or it goes into a great detail on the rules and stuff of the Sixth Sense. And another rule and clue that I managed to pick up was that with Bruce Willis's character, um, but also it was like there's gonna be some spoilers to this if you haven't seen it. Now, in the opening, he was shot by this one kid and then later on he took his own life and so um throughout the movie bruce willis wears the same clothes that he wore in the opening scene and then like at the end one of the best twists movie twists i've ever seen before in my life where it turns out he's dead or that guy's dead as skips would say and then we get to see all the clues and stuff. Like, like how he was able to keep the same clothes on and that he didn't, that, and now um, no one else talked to him and he was only able to talk to Halen, um, this one kid actor, Halen jo Joe Osmith, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now let me tell you, his acting is phenomenal. I mean, young actors have so much talent, like, and I'm gonna go into, like, talent in another video, um, later on about signs, but, like, he was able to bring so much hauntedness in the movie. I'd say some of the best performances is whenever he's talking with Bruce Willis that he can see dead people, and then later on, when he talks to his mother, that it's just powerful and just you could really see that he was giving it his all that was incredible it's a shame that we usually um don't get a whole lot of acting like this nowadays but yeah the sixth sense is a brilliantly crafted um thriller and this and and there are some techniques that i that i want to use in my like some of these techniques that in the movie I want to try to be able to use in some of my movies someday, like how to make a great twist and like, um, like red all around. It's, it blew my mind. Like I watched this with a little crowd and we were just blown away when the, when the ending just hit, like, man, what a movie.